Hello friends, I'm Dr. Vivek and today I'm going to discuss about Twelfth Night, <clears throat> a very important play by Shakespeare. So let's get started. <clears throat> Uh, Twelfth Night by Shakespeare. Twelfth Night, the subtitle of this play, this drama is What You Will, a comedy written in 1601. So 1601, it's a time of Elizabeth, the Elizabethan age. Queen Elizabeth I ruled over England from 1558 to 1603. <clears throat> so it was Elizabeth's time. This drama, this play, uh, the two important characters here, Sebastian and Viola. These are the twin brothers and sisters. They were twins. These two Sebastian and Viola, these two brothers and sisters. And they are twins. They are the same. And uh, Viola is a female and uh, Sebastian is a male. They were closely resembling one another and separated in a shipwreck of the coast of Illyria. So they were separated in a shipwreck and uh, they reaches at the coast of Illyria Island. Viola reached to Illyria and disguised as youth, Cesario, and started working as a page at Duke Sorsino's palace. Duke was in love with Lady Olivia. So when he reaches, uh, Viola reaches at a, in Illyria, it was a uh, Duke uh, Orsino was ruling over that place. And he, uh, she, Viola disguises herself as Cesario, as a male, and started working at the place of, uh, in the palace of Orsino, the Duke. And Duke was already in love with Lady Olivia. So now Olivia rejects the Duke's proposal and will not meet him. So as Duke has uh, sent many proposals, many persons to uh, for his uh, suit, for his suit, for his suit, and uh, a. The Olivia, Lady Olivia rejects the proposal, love proposal of uh, Duke Orsino. Orsino sends Cesario to press his shoe to Oli on Olivia, much to the distress who has fallen in love with Orsino. So at last, Duke Orsino tries again and sends Cesario, who was basically Viola, to, to, for uh, his suit to Olivia. And uh, just opposite of uh, Orsino's wish, uh, this uh, Cesario is in love with, means basically uh, she, uh, he was, she means uh, Viola. Viola is in love with Duke Orsino. Olivia in turns falls in love with Cesario. So now here, when uh, Cesario in the form of uh, Viola, in the form of Cesario, when goes uh, to Lady Olivia, Olivia is in love with uh, this Cesario, this guy. <clears throat> Sebastian and Antonio, captain of the ship that had rescued Sebastian, now arrives in Illyria. <clears throat> now, Sebastian, when Viola reaches to Illyria, and now Sebastian and Antonio, the captain of the ship, now reaches to Illyria. Cesario challenged to a duel, uh, to a duel by son Andrew Ockcheek. So now one another character comes, name of Sir Andrew Ockcheek. <clears throat> he was the rejected uh, lover of Olivia, is rescued from her predicament by Antonio, who takes her for Sebastian. So now Sir Andrew Ockcheek uh, started uh, fighting with Cesario. Uh, he sent Andrew Ockcheek showing his uh, strength to impress Lady Olivia. But uh, now Antonio comes uh, uh, taking uh, him as Sebastian. So uh, Antonio was protecting uh, 
uh, basically Sebastian in the form of Sebastian. He thinks that uh, it was not Cesario, it was Sebastian. Olivia coming upon the true Sebastian takes him for Cesario, invites him for her house and marries him out of hand. Now the now Sebastian uh, goes to Lady Olivia's house and uh, when he, uh, she proposes, Olivia proposes uh, Sebastian, he accepts the proposal and they got married. Orsino comes to visit Olivia. Now the Orsino, the Duke, comes to Lady, Lady Olivia's house. Antonio brought before him claims uh, Cesario as youth he has rescued from sea uh, while Olivia claims Cesario as her husband. Now there is a confusion. Confusion means uh, Lady Olivia says when Duke, uh, Duke Orsino reaches to Olivia's house uh, Olivia says that uh, I have married uh, to Cesario and he is my husband and uh, Antonio uh, says that uh, he is Sebastian, so there is a confusion. Uh, and uh, Cesario says, I did not marry uh, this lady. So, Duke, deeply wounded, is bidding farewell to Olivia and disassembling dissemble, Cesario when the arrival of the true Sebastian clears up the confusion. So, this confusion is cleared by Sebastian. When the Sebastian reaches, to Olivia's house. Now it is cleared by Sebastian. The Duke having lost Olivia and becoming conscious of the love that Viola has betrayed turns his affection to her and they are married. So when Duke, uh, uh, Duke uh, got to know about uh, Cesario Viola's love towards Duke and uh, he got to know about all these things. So he accepts, Duke accepts the proposal of, marriage proposal of Viola and they got married. So there is a two marriages happens in this uh, 12th night. First is Duke Orsino has got married with uh, Viola and uh, Sebastian got married with Olivia. So these are the two marriages happens in this play. Now, there, along with the plot, there is a subplot also. Subplot means there is another story. Along with the main story, there is another story go, goes on. So what happens in subplot? Much of the play's comedy comes from the subplot dealing with the members of Olivia's household. So this subplot deals with the Lady Olivia's household and it's a comedy scene. So characters in the subplots are Sir Toby Belch. This is the uncle of uh, Lady Olivia. Sir Andrew Okchik, uh, Sir Toby Belch's friend. Melvolio, uh, her pompous steward, means Melvolio works at the place of Olivia. His attendant, uh, Maria, her waiting gentlewoman and her clown face. So these are the important characters that... Or, um, all the characters of uh, subplot. Irritated by Melvolio's self-importance behavior, the other members of the household make him believe that Olivia is in love with him and that he must return her affection. So there is a there is a <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> uh, humor. This, as I told you, this is a comedy scene. Subplot is uh, basically a comedy scene where they make fool of all the characters. This uh, These characters make fool of Melvolio because Melvolio thinks that he is superior, he is self-important. He always shows that, though he is attendant of Olivia. But they now they can, making fun of it. They were making prank. So what they do is uh, they uh, Maria wrote a letter uh, with the name of uh, Olivia uh, that shows the affection towards Melvolio and uh, he is also Melvolio is showing affection the love towards Lady Olivia in quoting her he behaves so outrageously that he is imprisoned as madman by the behavior of Melvolio Olivia thinks he has become mad and he was imprisoned for that Olivia had him released 
and the joke against him is explained but he is not amused by it threatening i will be revenged on the whole pack of you now olivia got to know about this uh, this joke and he was uh, released from the jail and uh, it was just a joke but uh, he malolio took it as uh, as not a joke but he says i will revenge over all of you the play's gentle melancholy and lyrical atmosphere is captured in two of the fest beautiful songs one is uh, come away come away death and second is when that i was and a little tiny boy with hey ho the wind and the rain so these are the two important uh, uh, songs of uh, sung by fest so this is all about uh, story about twelfth night by shakespeare thank you so much for listening thanks for listening